welcome everyone this is alex for the coaster spot and today we're back at hershey park for the final construction update of wildcats revenge it won't be the final video before our first reactions video because we'll do a testing update sometime this week if everything goes to plan uh, before we get into it we're showing you the whole area in front of wildcats revenge they've obviously planted a bunch of shrubbery and bushes a new tree and all the lamp posts have been painted black but uh, if you haven't heard already, the ride is opening on June 2nd. That came very quick after the first test run, the prior day to this filming, and uh, that's exciting. Uh, first to ride, if you're a king size season pass holder, is May 29th, and I have my time early on May 29th. So we'll have a Forks Reactions video later that day. Not sure what time, but we'll have it out that day. Of course, we have to. So, um,. Everything's progressing really quickly and uh, it's exciting. I wasn't expecting that date so early. Uh, here is the test seat and you can see the queue has been added with the uh, door there for fast track and more of the uh, scenery. But before we get into the testing, I'd like to remind you to please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for instant notifications when a video comes out. All that helps grow the channel and allow me to continue to make these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram, The Coaster Spot, and also over on Twitter, Coaster Spotting. So uh, that's about it, I think, construction wise. It, uh, it's pretty much wrapping up. The only thing that seems to be really that needs to be done is the uh, queue line. Uh, there's still some features in there. But all the landscaping is done, the ride is done. I said everything would come together really quickly and testing would happen just a few days after the last piece of track. And I believe it was four, three days before uh, testing started. So uh, yeah, we caught about four test runs. We'll talk more about how testing takes place and all that uh, after we show you the testing shots that we got uh, all inside the park. So the testing update will just be from outside in uh, publicly available areas. We're gonna watch the testing, unedited, raw, and then we'll get up in the drone and show you uh, just the whole area for our last drone update. So they're going beneath the uh, top of the lift hill to the mechanics. Test them just, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First in-park testing footage. First test run ever from inside the park in an operating day. Oh my God, here we go, guys. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. My hands are shaking. Try to keep it steady. Oh my God. That under clip, oh my god. Good speed, oh my god. Oh. Alright, there's the airtime hill right there. It's gonna be hard to see. Oh, it's flying over that. Oh, oh the way turn. Oh my goodness. Uh, other wave turn. Oh, the stall, we can't see the stall. Oh my god. Uh, other wave turn over there. Oh, it's flying, it's flying. Oh my god, that double down is insane. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Should be coming in any second now. It might not be rolling in. It might be running it completely manually right now. So, oh no, there it comes. I love the uh, Wildcat sweatshirts on the first two dummies. That's fun. I think it's running automatically.
three. All right, not much to show you other than it's, it's complete. Those gaps are filled and to the right of the first drop at the bottom is where the Unride photo seems to be. So this rod is absolutely flying as you saw in the video. It is, the pacing is amazing. That double down is uh, incredible. I was not expecting it to, well, that, that is gonna be like that highlight. It just, it just slams you to the left. I'm so excited for that in the stall. We didn't have any really good video to stall, unfortunately, but uh, we'll get a lot of that in the testing update for sure. But uh, testing is very slow for the first few days. You're doing a lot of testing and adjusting. As you saw, they're having some little issues with the lift tail. Perfectly normal, whatever. And there will be breakdowns for the first few weeks and uh, just expect that. It's just gonna be a, the thing, especially when you're only testing for 10 days. It's regional amusement park, you, you test as much as required by the state and everything. And uh, you get to a point where it can run, but there's just lots of variables that will come up once you start opening it to the public. And it, you're only testing in like a 10 day period. That's like one weather condition, one temperature. Uh, variables happen yeah whatever it's it, it, it will be fine eventually so that's I, I don't know what else to say uh, i'm excited to ride this thing it's 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 10 days from now <laughs> that's incredible and uh, i'm excited to be able to um ride it and then uh, take a break from hershey park <laughs> I enjoyed making the updates, but uh, I definitely, after 21 of them, I am uh, I am going to take a break from uh, the park and do some travel. And uh, uh, please follow me and hopefully you like some other videos other than just Wildcat and Hershey Park. And uh, I really appreciate that. And I'll also be there for opening day or within a couple of days of opening to just show you how uh, it operates during the normal time, not just previews. And... Uh, provide a park update data how things are going in the park, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and we'll see you sometime this week